Okay, today we're going to talk about setting a gas pedal up, our mid super cap gas pedal up on a, a single cylinder motor to do it correctly to, and how it works for, best for uh, the application. First thing you do, the gas pedal comes with a really short screw here, and that's going to be way too much travel for the carburetor has, and that's why we use a longer bolt here as a throttle stop. And what we do, we push it all the way down, so just when that gets just about that bolt, this thing's wide open. Because if you don't, you end up with a throttle. Here's a customer set this carburetor back, says it went idle right after he hit the throttle a couple times. We well, kind of see this thing is this thing is bent right here. And if you want to hold it wide open, see how it goes past the full throttle mark. This was caused, even made a mark inside the carburetor here. It was caused by having no throttle stop, and he just went down on the throttle like that, and this just bends this throttle shaft and, and you know it'll ruin the shaft and you don't have to this carburetor needs a new throttle shaft to get it done right. And um, what we do with that, we just hook that up, and when you, uh, if you get one of our gas pedals in the loop, this loop is really big, and you're afraid it's going to fall over the end of that, uh, L, uh, that counter pin, just take a simple pliers like this, and elongate it. So you just want to pinch it in there, we're going to pinch this thing flat, like that, nice and tight. And it's going to slot like that, then you can slip it over top of that, over that, uh, um, Put, put over this into the shaft with the counter pin and we'll, it'll keep it from falling off. That's how you do it because some of these, when they clamp these things, sometimes they make that loop a little bit too big and people are about worried it falling off and that will, that will keep it from falling off. And that's a slick fix. Next I'll show you, uh, we're going to move the camera, I'm going to show you how we uh, did the bracket on the uh, head and to the carburetor. On the other end of the, ca on the other end of the cable up on the engine, we make a little bracket we just bolt to the head and then we just clamp that cable ca casting, casing right there to the, uh, to the head right there with that bracket. Run the other end up here, it really don't matter how long it is. What we do on here, the trunnion that comes with the gas pedal, we always drill that little hole out in the, in the throttle cable, in the throttle shaft, be careful, to a quarter inch, then you can shove it up to the bottom, stick the cable to there, tighten it down, it can't fall out or do anything like that. And again, like I said, when you go wide open with this thing, you see there's wide open, I just put a little more tension on that, but it's, it's not a, too much to, to hurt the shaft. The other thing you want to do too, if you have a, a governor engine, a governor powered engine, you'll have a little throttle shaft. This engine don't have it because it's open RPM. You have a little governor shaft that comes here and a little shaft down here where the stock cable hooked up to on that little, uh, there's a little piece of steel about three quarter inch long. Put your trunnion through that and, and run the gas valve for, to pull open the uh, governor. On that situation, you probably won't need quite as long as throttle stop because you got the spring tension of the governor. But you'll probably need some kind of a stop of some sort. But that's the way we do our uh, gas pedals. It's worked real well, well for us over, over 20 years like we've done it like that. So that is all to the gas pedal.